So I'll go to interface gigabit th three slash one and do a no shutdown command. And then I'll go to two slash one and do a no shutdown command. And then, and then a one slash one and then a no shutdown command, right? So now I've turned on the interfaces on these two switches and this switch over here. Now let's go to S4. And I was hoping by shutting down the interfaces that would kind of clear the route, the switches, so to speak. Interface gigabit GI one slash one, no shut for no shutdown, and then two slash one, whoops, two slash one, and no shut, and then th three slash one, and then a no shut. All right. So now we've put that one up. And so the goal is to see if we can get this thing working. So now we just have to turn on the interfaces for these last two switches. And for this, I'll just cheat and I'll say um, gigabit two slash one and turn it on. And then ethernet four on, ethernet five on, and then the same thing here. I'll Just do that really quickly, gigabit two on, fast ethernet four on, and five on. All right, and all right, that looks good. And so now everything is on and we could see if we could ping across the network. So we'll open up PC one here and we'll see if we're able to ping across. And looks like I can ping across. That looks successful. And we'll go here to the switch that he's attached to. And we'll say Control C, show span tabs, show spanning tree. And you can see here from the spanning tree that, let's see here, that it's running RSTP right um, the priority number is of the root bridge which is 24577 this bridge is 32769 right the priority number is actually 32768 plus VLAN 1 makes it 32769 right and then um, the ports that are uh, in forwarding a designated port and a root port here right designated port is the one attached to the host and the root port is the gigabit port We'll compare that to, um, well, actually, and we'll see here. All right, that looks good. And then for same switch, you can see here for, um, for notice this, for VLAN 5, because there's two spanning trees here. There's VLAN 1, which we just looked at, and then there's also VLAN 5, right? It's also running RSTP, right? Tells you the root bridge's priority number, the root bridge's MAC address, right? Um, also, you can see that this bridge, its priority number is 32773, which is 32768 plus 5, since this is on VLAN 5, right? And that's that. I just wanted to point that out. And then let's try PC3 to PC4. So we're going to ping. 5.100 to 5.101. So we'll run the command prompt here. Ping 92.168.5.101. And we're getting a reply. And so it is working. All right. So the first time when I turned this on and got it working, I wasn't able to get it to work. But this time I went through the um, trouble of shutting down the ports and then opening them one by one effectively trying to kind of flush, I think, um, what was happening so that we could give it a chance to work, and it worked. Um, if I had access to it, I could run this clear spanning tree detected protocols to kind of possibly clear out uh, the switches. Um, so that was good. Let's see which ports are blocking. So we'll go to this root bridge here, and this is the root bridge for VLAN 1. 
and what we'll do is we'll do a control C and then a show span and we want to take a peek at what what's happening okay so this is the root bridge notice the priority number root ID and then its priority number is the same MAC address is the same right you can see the last MAC address right here is the exact same as right here so this is the root bridge its ports are in uh, forwarding mode right but then we'll keep going down here we'll say down 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 and we'll hit more and you can see that for VLAN 5 though one of its ports is in an alternate mode and is blocking for gigabit 1 slash 1 so that's interesting so um, so it's blocking for VLAN 5 but it's forwarding for um, VLAN 1 and so we know that for VLAN 5 that this port is blocking for VLAN 5 and uh, but forwarding for VLAN 1 so if you're on VLAN 1 it's a different state than VLAN 5 and it's going to be the opposite so on this switch it'll be the exact opposite